In this video of C Sharp Dotted, we are going to cover another concept in the context of abstraction only that is the interface. Interface also belongs to the reference type as that of the classes. As in the previous video, we have discussed about abstract class inside which you can keep some things as abstract while you can define some of the concepts as well. But while working with interface, we will have to make sure that we cannot define anything as it ensures the complete abstraction. Along with that, while inheriting a particular class, we discussed like we cannot have multiple base classes for a particular derived class as only single class inheritance is allowed in C sharp. But to achieve multiple inheritance, we can also go through the interfaces which will allow us to go through the different types of functionalities which we can put in the same class by using the interfaces. So let's see practically how can we do that. So in this example you can see I have created one interface named I interface one inside which there are a couple of methods called method one and method two. After that there is a class one inside which again I have put some method. Now in the next class I have done the actual implementations where I have first of all inherited a class and then implemented the interface. Whenever you want to inherit the class and interface both in a particular class, make sure the class name should comes first and then you can pass as many as interfaces you want. As soon as you will inherit this interface, you will have to implement all the methods which are mentioned inside this particular interface. As here, you can see I have created the public definitions of void method 1 and void method 2. Of course, this class can contain its own class members as well. And after that, I have a program class inside which I can create a main method. And as soon as I will instantiate this derived class, my class 2, I can access M1 which is coming from the base class, then method 1 and method 2 which are actually defined inside this my class 2 but are specified in interface and you can also call them easily. And similarly you can create as many as interfaces you want can pass after this and you have to define all the methods. Now let's consider a scenario like I have one more interface called I interface 2 where I have specified a method called method 2 with exact same signature which is present in this I interface 1 as well. So here you can see like we already have a definition for method 1 and method 2 in this class so even though if I will add the I interface 2 definition like this. I will not have to do anything. Why? Because I interface 2 is having method 2 which is already defined. So that simply means like here I am sharing the definitions of this method 2 for interface 1 and interface 2. This is what we call the implicit implementation of interfaces. But if you want to give the two different definitions for the different interface methods you can do that as well by defining or implementing this interface explicitly. Like here you can see I interface 1 dot method 2 I interface 2 dot method 2. Now these couple of method has been bound for a specific interface. So let's come again here in this main method and see what changes I got. So here you can see I can call M1 I can call method 1 but I am unable to call the method 2. So how can I make a call to those? So clearly what I'll have to do I interface 1 I1 is equal to new my class 2 as like abstract classes you can also not initialize the interface because it doesn't have a constructor. So since it is a base because this my class 2 is inheriting this I interface 1 it can definitely store the reference and now if I you if you will say I1 dot you will find method 2 and method 1 both. Similarly if you will do the same thing for 
I interface 2 like this. Oh, let me change it. Right. So now you can see method 2. So I am getting method 2 when I'm specifically calling a class instance from the interface. So let me execute it now. So first of all, I have called this with I1. So method 2 from I interface 1 and then method 2 from I interface 2 when I call this method 2 from I2 which is the instance of this I interface 2. So this is how you can define the interfaces in your C programming and can implement them either implicit or explicit.